Because a better life is waiting for me And I know my grandma's praying for me Cause this life is never what it seems I'm asleep trying to live my dreams Hey guys, it's your boy Nasa here and if you haven't already done so, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe and hit that bell notification button for future posts, you know already what it is. Today's video, I'm going to be, you know, a little vlog of what I have to do day in, day out, obviously on this quarantine life, you know what I'm saying, the sun is shining and uh, my stomach is rumbling, so... <laughs> do you cook? No, I eat. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys a nice meal that you can have with your family. You know, if you want to chef it up, if you at you, if you're at uni, or if you're just at home and you wanna, you know, you wanna cook something, then this is a meal to cook. Trust me, it's delicious, man. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, please. Oh, links always gonna be in the description. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and yeah, let's get it. All right, so we got the lamb, the leg of lamb. You know what I'm saying, a few potatoes. You got some carrots, you got some stuffing, you got your seasonings, I'll add some more seasonings as well. You got your garlic here, and then you got your um, rosemary seasonings here, and then you got your scotch bonnet uh, chilies here. Um, and also I'm gonna throw some greens in there to make it a bit healthier. So yeah, let's get it. Hi you guys, so the meat is nicely washed, you know what I'm saying, with lemon, with some salt, you know what I'm saying. So first things first. So the first thing is first, we're gonna get some oil. You just get normal vegetable oil, oil or something. You're gonna put about two tablespoons in there. Um, I've been cooking for a long time, so I don't really need to know how much quantity to use. by using a measure up. Um, so then what I like to do is just add in some seasoning. So the first seasoning I'm going to chuck in there is some garlic salt. Uh, I would say about a tablespoon of that would do. And then we're going to go in with some onions, uh, onion salt. About the same, about a tablespoon as well. Some smoky Cajun seasoning, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put about, about a tablespoon of this would do. Just table, table and a half. Um, and then we're gonna go with some cayenne chili pepper. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like this spicy, you could use, I don't know, um, just plain old paprika. It can give it a nice smoky texture. You know what I'm saying? Be careful that this, um, so if you, yeah, if you have kids or if you don't like spice yourself, just be careful about the quantity that you use. I'm just throwing a bit more, because you know, I like spice. And then, of course, we're gonna go with the OG. We're gonna go in with some everyday uh, seasoning, you know what I'm saying? So then we're going to put about a tablespoon, a table and a half, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, so, you know what I'm saying? I've got this, you can get these from, you know, any online store, any kitchen stores, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to throw in a bit of ginger, you know what I'm saying? It gives it that nice background flavour, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I feel like if you don't know how to season food, just go for what your taste buds are saying, isn't it? Like what you like to eat. And then just research in it. That's the best way. And then I'm gonna go in with some, just a little chili flake, just a little bit because we've already, don't forget, put some cayenne pepper in there. Right. What you're gonna wanna do is gently mix all of that up. So it's gonna become like a paste. Because obviously the oil itself, mixed in with the seasoning, look, it's not like a proper liquid. It's kind of, I don't know if you lots can see, but when you get that kind of consistency, um, you're going to add some pure, uh, fresh puree garlic. You can either, if you've got a garlic crusher, then you can use that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I prefer just to get this because it's easier to, easier to do. Um, so yeah, you just give it a good old mix, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if... Listen, that's smelling really good. Just look at the consistency and the colour right there. So that's going to give it a nice glaze, a nice brown in you know what I'm saying? That's what your meat needs, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so we're going to go and get the meat now. Put the lamb over, you know what I'm saying? Before you put your seasoning, you need to make a couple of holes, you know what I'm saying? And what this allows is allows the meat to either cook quicker, but then also to get like all the juices flowing, all the seasonings flowing. And then you're gonna see why in a minute as well. And then I would do that 
like that. You can just do it on one side, like it doesn't really matter. That's what I like to do. Innit? And then we're gonna go and get the bowl, the seasoning, and you're just gonna basically slather that all over, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Get all the seasonings. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna kind of just like massage it in. You know what I'm saying? Give it a good massage. That's the smell already, you can smell it. It smells done, you know what I'm saying? Gonna take this away. Um, don't cross, don't cross contaminate anything. And then I'm gonna get some, I just wanna get some rosemary. Just put that in. Some people like to pull it in. Um, the actual lamb, I'm not really too fussed, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying just stuff it in kind of thing and so it's gonna be like that and then we're gonna take this just for a minute so we're now gonna go in with some black pepper and I like to always put a generous amount, you know what I'm saying? And this is a big leg of lamb, so this can feed in easily a family between four to six to eight people. It depends how much portion sizes you lots use. Gas mark five to six. This would take uh, at least an hour, hour and a half, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to put too much salt because already the seasonings are all purpose, they have salt inside of them. So now I'm going to put this in the oven. Uh, you lot, so this is all seasoning, you know what I'm saying? All sticky, all looking scrumptious, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to go whack in the oven on a uh, gas mark five to six for between an hour, hour and a half. But halfway through that, you should turn it over so that the both sides of the skin gets crispy, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just cutting the baby potatoes in it and putting them in some boiling water. You want to do that on a medium heat and uh, do that for about 15 minutes. And so they're part boiled, I'm just peeling some potatoes now, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I've, I've cut up all the potatoes and I've peeled them. And now, as you can see, it's part boiling in here, you know what I'm saying? You wanna have that on a medium heat. And so now we're gonna get on with the stuffing, so yeah. Uh, stuffing mixture, and then you just wanna pour that into there. You also wanna boil the kettle and put, I would say, between 250 milliliters. Wait, how long, how much does it say on here? Wait, hold on. About 200, um, uh, mils of, 200 mils of water, you want to put in there, of hot water. It needs to be hot so that you come out. So I'm going to put about 250 mils of water. Like I said, I don't really measure. I just go by how much I think, you know what I'm saying? Because I've cooked for a long time. So we're going to get... We're going to get a spoon and we're just going to give it a nice stir, you know what I'm saying? If you, this might look like a lot of water, but trust me, this is a deceiver. Um, it will soak everything up, so that's what you want to do. Just leave it for maybe one or two minutes, and then yeah, it'll be ready to mold. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do, be careful, it can be hot, so you just want to kind of mold little small circles. You know what I'm saying? And then you just want to move all of that to the side. Some people do it differently. This is how I do it, because there's not a lot of people that I have to feed at the moment. So it's just the easy way. All right, so it's something similar that you guys can make. And I also just put the potatoes now in the oven. So just to crispen up, because that takes a long time, you know what I'm saying? Because I like my potatoes crispy. So yeah, now I'm going to clean up, and then um, I'll show you guys when I add the veg and that kind of stuff. Just before you take out the meat, because as the meat's done now, you're gonna season your veg. I've pot boiled it, now I'm gonna gently fry, uh, but with no oil, um, just a bit of olive oil, otherwise it becomes fatty. And yeah. All right, so I'm gonna add some garlic granules, just a little bit. I'll give that a little mix. All right, so I'm gonna add some olive oil, extra virgin, just add a little bit and then just let it simmer for a little bit and yeah, it'll be ready to go. So 
So this is what it looks like. All nice and crispy. You got your potatoes, nice and crispy. Um, same. Look at the color on that. Look at the crispiness on that. That's, and then what you want to do now is let it sit. You got a little rest and you can plate up. so we did that as well some greens some potatoes stuffing corn on the cob and the pizza and the pear did the resist you what you could you do and the main thing look at that i like my meat just just below medium rare or just above medium rare but obviously you can do it to how you like it nice crust to it you know what i'm saying yes sir